hi you guys good morning welcome back to another video if you guys are new here my name is Katie um, today we're doing a fall day in my life video I woke up this morning and it was like the perfect 60 degree weather it was super cool there's like a nice breeze I opened all the windows and it was genuinely just the best thing ever so I was like okay we have to do like a whole fall vlog today so I figured today would be the perfect day to vlog and kick off the fall season I'm very excited for it I feel like I've waited for the longest time for the weather to like cool off I'm not a summer person I'm very much like a fall and winter person this is like my time to thrive so I'm super excited but I just stopped by Starbucks and grabbed a cold brew I I've always loved like the pumpkin cream cold brews, but I'm vegan and I would always just have them made with like almond milk or something like that um, Because the baristas had always at least where I live They had always told me that the pumpkin sauce was vegan and then someone commented on one of my videos Either last year or the year before that when I got it and they're like, oh, it totally has dairy in it So I was like, well, that makes sense why I'm like breaking out and everything so much So this year I wanted to like make my own and I haven't found like a super good recipe until this year and it like tastes so good so I wanted to share it with you guys in case you guys are like vegan or dairy free or you just want to make like one at home um, this one is like so so good and you guys are gonna love it but this is gonna be a very fun like festive fall vlog I want to go get some like decorations for fall maybe go find some like cute little pumpkins and all the fun things um, really to like kind of cozy up my house I also just got in some really cute fall pieces from Revolve so I thought I would show those to you guys as well and then for breakfast we're gonna be making some pumpkin and spice waffles I think but I'm gonna go ahead and head home so we can go make our pumpkin cream cold brew and our pumpkin spice waffles so for the pumpkin cream cold foam I'm gonna use this non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage from Trader Joe's and it is so good and then if you guys also want it to be a little bit more sweet this one does have a little bit of sweetener in there but if you want it to be a little bit more sweet you can add in some of this non-dairy oat creamer it's the brown sugar one from Trader Joe's and this is super yummy too Okay, and then after it's done, you get it all nice and frothy. You just dump it on. And then you have a homemade vegan pumpkin cream cold brew and it tastes so, so good. This is how the waffle turned out. I topped it off with a few little like pecans and walnuts and then I added on some of this Trader Joe's maple syrup. It looks super yummy so I'm super excited to try it and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, just got out of the shower. I put on this giant fluffy cozy robe for the cooler weather. I'm so excited I can bring it back out. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, just finished getting dressed, putting on all of my jewelry. I'm just wearing this like black blazer with this white crop top from Zara. The blazer's from Zara and then these jeans are Abercrombie and then I'm wearing some black booties with it as well. I just filmed a little outfit of the day reel on Instagram so you guys can check that out um, for my perfume today. I'm gonna be using this YSL one. I feel like this is a very, like a fall scent. I need to grab my bag, grab some sunglasses, and then we're gonna go head out and go find some fun fall things. I am so excited. Maybe I'll go get some more coffee too. Do I need more coffee? Probably not. I literally just finished a coffee and I feel like I'm like wired. So maybe I should not let myself get more coffee. We'll find out, we'll see what happens. Also random note, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to get my hair done in like a couple weeks and I kind of want to get curtain bangs because I feel like my hair is just all very like one length and my bangs because i used to have bangs you guys can see like new hair growth that's literally all new hair growth 
JS Health Vitamins are no joke. They work so well. I have so many like new hairs sprouting too. Anyways, but like all of these pieces used to be like long curtain bangs and they totally grew out. So I kind of want to get curtain bangs, but I don't know. What do we think? Should I go for it? Should I not? Should I just leave my hair? I don't know. Let me know. I just don't like it that these pieces, I feel like just always like hang in my face. And then they like go straight. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but let's go ahead and head out. Okay, they have a whole bunch of these really cute pumpkins. So I think I'm gonna get a few of these. And I might get a few for like my outside doorstep as well. Okay, just got the pumpkins. I grabbed one of these medium sized ones and then I got two of these cute little tiny ones. How freaking cute are these? And they're white. They're kind of more of like a cream color. Um, they have obviously some like dirt and stuff on there that I'll just wash off. But I'm like, these are gonna be so cute. So I think I'm just going to maybe put these on my table as like a little three set. We'll see what I end up doing, but I got those. And then it's this cute little like local produce area and they have a bunch of homemade stuff. So I got a jar of apple butter. I'm a huge apple butter fan, especially with the vegan brioche from Trader Joe's. It's just like the best combination. So I grabbed some of that. Right now I'm going to head to H&M. I think they close early today, so I'm gonna try to get there in time to kind of look around a little bit. And then I think I'm going to, I don't know if I wanna go to Target. I don't know if Target's gonna have a lot of cute stuff, but I might go there. And then I definitely wanna go to either Home Goods or At Home to see what all they have. I feel like Home Goods is kind of like touch and go when it comes to good like fall decor. Cause I feel like sometimes their stuff is just like very like bright and orange and that's just not really like my vibe. So we'll see where we end up going, but I'm going to go ahead and head to H&M and see what we can find there. And then I also stopped in Sephora because I wanted to grab this new foundation and I grabbed Actually kind of a bunch of stuff. So I thought I would do a little haul really quickly I know the Sephora sale is also coming up. So I don't know what all is going to be in it But I thought I would show you guys what I grabbed and I did get some stuff for you guys because they have the cutest little gift set. And if you guys have been following me for a couple years, you guys know I love to do giveaways around the Christmas time. Um, last year I did 12 days of Christmas, 12 giveaways, and it was so fun. So I actually picked up several things for you guys for the giveaways, but I'm not gonna show that to you guys. Stay tuned for the holidays if you guys wanna check out those giveaways, but couldn't resist getting a few things for you guys. Got a few foundations. So I grabbed two Dior ones. These are the ones that I've heard all about on social media. So I got the Dior Backstage Foundation, and then I got the Dior Forever that one as well. Let me know if you guys wanna see me test these out. Obviously I'm not like a makeup artist or a professional in that realm whatsoever, but I like trying out new makeup. So let me know if you guys wanna see like a reel or a TikTok on that. Um, and then I also grabbed this foundation and then I got the matching, where is it? I got the matching concealer. So it's the brand Kosas. And I've been wanting to try this brand for the longest time. It's a clean beauty product. Got their Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. It has broad spectrum SPF 25 and it says it's medium coverage, natural dreamy finish. And then I got their Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer, which the lady in Sephora was like, you need to get this. It doesn't crease. It's amazing. So grab these two. I have high hopes for them. I'm very excited. And this one also has a bunch of like skincare in it. It has hyaluronic acid. It has niacinamide peptide squalene pro vitamin b5 it has arnica caffeine and an artemisia flower 
probably saying that wrong too but anyways very excited to try these so i'll keep you guys updated on those and then i also got a few hair things because i feel like i just need something like a good hair oil and i ran out of all the hair oils that i have so i grabbed this one i don't know how you pronounce it which i always hear everybody rave about so i just got like a little mini one to try and then i also saw this one by the brand jvn and i've never heard of this brand before but it's a like clean brand and it is their complete conditioning mist so i thought a conditioning mist looked really cool so i'm gonna try that out um and then what else and then i also got another fragrance you guys know i've really been into fragrances lately and i tried this one and it's the burberry her london dream and it smells amazing this isn't gonna focus there we go but this one smells absolutely amazing i feel like it's like a really good like everyday wear especially for the winter because i just feel like it's like very cozy and it'll be perfect for like sweaters and all that good stuff so there's a little sephora haul that was unexpected anyways i'm gonna head to home goods and see what they have there hopefully they have some stuff and then i think after that i'll go to at home and then if they don't have anything i might head to target to see what they have okay they have cute little white pumpkins but i already grabbed some of those i feel like for the most part their like fall stuff is very bright and colorful which isn't really my vibe which is what i was kind of thinking would be the case so i'm not really finding like a whole ton little pumpkins kind of like these i kind of can't tell whether this is like cute or kind of ugly it kind of looks like a sad pumpkin but also it's cute at the same time i can't tell this has nothing to do with fall but how cute would this be for like a little like i want to shift but for like but to like put all your little like jewelry and stuff in. Oh, I think I might want to get one of these. I think I'm going to grab this one though. Because that one's, one one's kind of scratched. Okay, that one looks good. How cute is that? And it's only $7. How cute. Okay, another thing that's not fall whatsoever. But I saw this lamp and I really like it. And I actually just accidentally broke my floor lamp in my living room. So I think I'm going to grab this. Because I really like it. I like the black base. So... We are leaving with this and then my little like jewelry tray. Nothing fall related whatsoever, but unexpected cute finds. Okay, just got back from shopping. I already showed you guys what I got at H&M and at Sephora. I'll try to have all that stuff that I got at H&M linked down below for you guys. I know sometimes they have it on their website and then sometimes they don't. So if you don't see it linked, I wasn't able to find it on the website. I wasn't really able to find any like fall decor. I feel like a lot of the places that I went didn't really have a lot. And most of what they had was kind of like what I was thinking, which was like the super bright orange stuff and just like stuff that wasn't exactly my style. I feel like I'm probably going to end up just trying to find some stuff online, maybe order some stuff off Amazon and then see what I can find there. I feel like I might have better luck. So stay tuned for the decorating part. But I also wanted to show you guys the clothes that I got from Revolve because I got so many super cute pieces. Okay, feel free to ignore all the clothes on the bed. It's like a whole mess in here right now. But this is the first piece that I got. It's this really cozy like black and white flannel. I thought this would be perfect to add to like an outfit like this and some comfy boots or you can style it with like sweatpants. I feel like there's just so many fun ways to wear these flannels. So I got this one. I really like it again because it's super, super soft and I like that it's very light. Like it's not a super heavy. So it's super perfect for the fall transition period so this is the first piece I got also I'll have all of these linked down below if you guys do want to shop any of them okay and then this is the next one that I got I really like it because it's this little like cropped leather jacket and I thought it'd be really cute to style it with like a crop top like this or you could also like button it up and then just wear it as like a cropped shirt but I really like it it's really nice and warm and then the inside's like a super super soft material I have a lot of leather pieces but I don't have any like leather crop jackets like this so I thought this was super fun so I grabbed this one okay the next thing I got is this sweater and I really like it because it's a really nice like length for a crop I feel like it's not too long not too short it really hits just that like the small of your waist and then I also really like it because it has these really fun little like bubble sleeves which I like it's super comfy really soft and it has like a nice high turtleneck so it'll be perfect for like layering or wearing under coats and stuff which the next thing I actually got is a coat so I'll show you guys that matched with this one and they look so good together okay and then this is what it looks like when it's tied it's definitely I feel like a lot more flattering whenever it is tied um, but like I said still super big super oversized but I think this will be so cute I feel like this is more of a winter piece because it is pretty heavy and thick um, and you can like I said you can layer a ton under it but I just think this is such a cute cute piece I know that this is gonna sell out super fast but I really love this coat. It has pockets as well, which are super nice and big So it's overall just like a super cozy coat and I feel like it's just 
such like a I feel like it's definitely just one of those coats that like stand out and it's a very like statement coat but I think this will be so so much fun to style and to wear but definitely remember to size down in this coat because it is really big okay the next thing that I got is this like long sleeve turtleneck sweater dress and it's the most comfy material ever it's like a nice bodycon which I really like and then you can either leave it a little bit shorter you can like pull it up my legs are pale AF right now so I'm trying not to show them because I totally forgot to self tan but this is seriously the most comfy sweater dress ever and I thought it'd be so so cute to like style with some boots with a cute little blazer you can dress it up you can wear that big coat over it there's just so many different ways to style this so this is the little sweater dress that I got Okay, just changed back into my hoodie that I was wearing earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner. I actually have this vegan chili recipe that I wanted to make and I figured since it was a fall video, we could make a good like fall recipe. So I got all the stuff to make it yesterday. Okay, so for this recipe and all, again, have it linked down below. You need three cans of beans, carrots, corn, garlic, oregano, a yellow onion, tomato paste, veggie stock, chili powder, paprika, salt, sugar, oil, and a Cuban. So it's a pretty simple, easy chili. And then I also got some vegan cheddar cheese shreds to put on top and some green onions to garnish it with. So let's go ahead and make some chili. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I wanted to show you guys the pot that I'm gonna be using to make my chili in. If you guys have never heard of Caraway before, they are amazing. This isn't sponsored, but I'm so obsessed with them. I really wanted to share with you guys. So these pots and pans are 100% ceramic. They're non-stick, they're non toxic a lot of the times like pots and pans can have toxic materials in them and these don't whatsoever they're absolutely amazing i got mine in the light gray color the whole set that i have comes with four pieces it comes with this one the lid for that it comes with a skillet it comes with like a smaller saucepan which has a lid and then it comes with like a bigger skillet that also has a lid with it and then it also came with these really cute little cork like um, I don't, I'm like forgetting what the word is, but if your pots and pans are hot, you just put them on here. And then it also comes with a few other accessories. Anyways, but if you guys do want to check these out, I highly recommend Caraway. They're absolutely amazing. And these are life-changing pots and pans. Like I said, they're non-stick, so literally nothing sticks to them. Like you don't have to scrub anything off. All I have to do to clean these, add a little soap and hot water, swish it around, and then that's it. Like these are the easiest low maintenance pots and pans ever so i'll have them linked down below if you guys do want to check them out and they also gave me a discount code for you guys as well again not sponsored but i wanted to get a discount code because they are an investment i think it's totally worth it but anyways i'll have all that down below Okay, chili is looking so, so good. This is actually my first time making it, so I'm very proud of the way it's turning out. I did a little taste test, it tastes amazing. I think I'm gonna let it simmer for about five more minutes and then it should be all ready. Okay, this is how it turned out. I just put on a few little green onions on top. I also put in like the white part of the green onion in the soup um, like 10 minutes before it was done simmering and that worked really well. I'm going to take my chili. I'm gonna go sit down on the couch and cozy up with a blanket, probably turn on Gilmore Girls, turn on my fireplace and have like a whole cozy night. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do have any like fall video requests for the upcoming fall months, like October, November, comment those down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.